Yo, it's the Dordell's hope. Please say the ho, oh Lord. And I'm coming at you right now with a comparison review. I was lucky enough to pick up something very special from this last recent Crep City event. Of course, dear Dora. But something that came as a shock and a surprise and like a last minute announcement from the dear Dora UK bunch. And it was a Beat Elite Saturday special. One of 50. Obviously a collaboration with Hannon. Obviously taken from the N9000 Saturday special. So featuring them same kind of colours, the same colourway and um, kangaroo leather, the same type of dope materials. But yeah, um, they only had 50 pairs of these worldwide. I was lucky enough, uh, shouts out to my Don Lee at uh, Strictly Sneakers who was cool enough to grab these for me and put them underneath his table till I arrived at the event and it was love on the day shouts out to Deodora Official shouts out to Dave, Millie and the rest of the gang over there uh, for the continual love they be showing you know they sent me a pair of these um, V7000 weaves um, very appreciated with that but yeah um these were dope to pick up and I feel very fortunate. Those are the original Saturday Special Transit 1 and 9000 shoes by Hannon. Over there, over there, right over there. But um, yeah, let's just pop this box and take a look at what the joint came with. Uh, something also very dope that came with this shoe was a t-shirt. Looking at the back. You see, it features the logos for Hannon, Crep City, and Deodora in between this sort of teal bracket. And then it reads Deodora, Hannon, Crep City, B Elite, Saturday Special, Italy, Aberdeen, London. Service commences. Saturday, the April 30th, 2016. Truman Brewery, Brick Lane, London. Spec 1 of 50 pairs global edition, handcrafted in Carano di San Marco, Italy. So that describes it perfectly what it was. Um, shouts out to Hannon, Crepsi, and Deodora on a dope collaboration once again. Like I said, this is the reverse of the shirt. And um, looking at the front of it, that's the front view right there. Just a nice. Um, smaller breast pocket badge sort of vibe going on there in between that teal bracket again that teal margin should i say a very dope t-shirt the colors obviously complement the colorway of the shoe as we can see first of all comes with a lace up package very dope have a white pair and what looks like a teal or ocean blue pair. And I'll say that was more ocean blue. And it's dope because it you see it reads Dear Dora on the aglets. Red on the white lace and white on the ocean blue lace. Dope little touch. So uh, being that this is going to be a comparison review. I mean you can see the shoe. The B Elite. Bjorn Borg silhouette. You can see the colors that teal, that ocean blue, that white midsole, that luby red bottom, that kangaroo level, and that Crook Street burgundy, that premium suede. Which I reckon is like the flip side of the kangaroo. So maybe it's kangaroo swaying. If not, it's got to be swine. Because that is just too soft. And then we got the red hill counter. Ocean blue on the inside. An inner lining. And the red and white Hannon Deodora 
insignia insole with the hand and flame keeps on burning sticker on the footbed and in the other shoe we see it numbered the 25th pair out of 50 hand and shop keeps on burning and they stay with the fire so you know I can testify to you know the fact that the hand and flame keeps on burning they do have that fire so I'm going to pop the other box and get to comparing, comparing colours, comparing textures and comparing the package in general. So um, what I'm going to do is get everything up out of this box including the tissue piper, that official hand and tissue piper. So it's dope. If you can see from the uh, original paper from the N9000 we have a white and blue paper, blue ink on a white background. We have the lace up pack, which came in two separate different bags as opposed to the one bag in this uh, newbie elite release, and, and we see an off-white color, not as you know, not the clean or the brilliant white that we see in this new offering, the B elite. This is more of a, a A1 Perico um, Griselda Blanco sort of Yola cocoa white, which is dope. And then we have the ocean blue, which, or not ocean blue, this is the teal to match that, um, you know, the color and that mud guard. And then, comparing it directly, the red background with the white print, where we see the one color going all the way around the eye stay coming down to the tongue attachment going all the way back up. On the N9000, we see the burgundy color on the eye stay coming down to the tongue attachment, and then we get hit with that red. We've got the ocean blue mesh vamp on both shoes. Here we got a black outsole on this shoe, and just a red um, toe cap. Obviously, to match the red bottom or the red bottom to match the red toe cap. White midsole, white midsole. The tongues on these B elites are dope. So, we've got that mix match tongue. The flame on the right shoe, the Deodora gift on the left shoe. Whereas on the N9000, we see the same thing going on in both tongues. Uh, the Deodora insignia just above the Hannon white flame. There is a slight difference with the color of these laces. We can see on the B Elite we have a sort of brighter shade of burgundy where these laces on the N9000 are a bit more subtle. I don't want to use the word dull, but yeah, you can see the difference. These are a bit more of a, a, a brownie tint and these are more of a reddish sort of tint. The mud guard on the B Elite is similar color to the N9000, that sort of teal color. Only difference I would say is that the texture on these B Elites is more like a smooth pig skin sort of suede, whereas the Suede on these N9000 is more of a bovine, long-haired sort of suede. Um, it is a different texture on the N9000 than it is on the B Elite. As to is the um, kangaroo leather. I don't know if this the shape or the silhouette of the B Elite that makes it just feel a bit more sturdy, a bit more firm, not as supple as it is on the N9000 shoe which I mean literally feels like a leather jacket it is so thin look into the back of this shoe now at the heel counters you can see that this shoe is you know the N9000 is drastically different from the um, B Elite 
which is a dope thing because I mean just because they made a shoe you know to, in homage of another shoe or shall I say with the you know a shoe that's inspired by another shoe it doesn't mean it have to look exactly the same so I like the way that they mixed it up and they changed it up so where you have this red kangaroo leather on the heel tab you can see that they've just opted to use that red on this whole back heel counter of the B Elite shoe. This heel counter is divided into three colors, the blue, the red, and the sort of greeny teal. But we have the one solid red color on the B Elite. We see the Deodora insignia and the Hannon insignia, so the mix match heel counters on the B Elite, which is very dope. Also on the N9000, we have that mix match heel counter effect with the Hannon White Flame on the right shoe and the Deodora insignia on the left shoe, which is the exact same for both pairs. The right foot of the B Elite is the Hannon shoe. The left foot of the B Elite is the Deodora shoe. The left foot of the N9000 is the Deodora shoe and the right foot of the N9000 is the Hannon shoe. So that's quite dope. I think overall, you already know overall, I'm, you know, mad excited and feel privileged to have this pair, especially as they're one of 50. And um, this is already one of my favorite pairs, already an OG pair because, you know, they were like the second Deodora collaboration to hit the screets after the patter. So definitely an OG pair. I'm definitely happy to own both of these. And um, as far as goodies go, as far as, you know, little extra bits that came with these shoes, like I've already showed you, the T-shirt came with the B Elites. And these N9000s came with this cool, um, groovy dust bag with the um, Deodora gift along the front of it, the insignia, the Hannon insignia, and the N9000 Saturday Special made in Italy. Remember this was um, <clears throat> this was a collaboration that paid homage to the Saturday train service used by, you know, a lot of football fans in the 80s um, to get around on the weekends to, you know, go and see their favorite teams, kickball. And um, the colors were taken from the colors that were seen inside the carriages of these trains um, that were going to and from. Aberdeen, um, London, or you know, different parts of the UK at that time. I just finished watching The Firm and I saw a lot of Deodora stuff in there. Shouts out to um, 80s casual, 80s casual classics. <clears throat> I've seen a couple of reviews on YouTube. Um, I don't know, I think they do styling as well. I think they styled that movie. And if they did, they got a lot of heat. Not just Deodora, but a lot of. Elise and um, Lacoste, Fila. But yeah, definitely support UK shoe reviewers. Um, so please like, subscribe, and throw a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment. And just keep supporting Deodora. But it's Deodora Dells, who? Please say the ho. Oh, Lord.